hello everybody welcome back to the channel it's that time again when we do all our completed pages for the month if you're not here my name's Andrea if you've never been here before and I make adult colouring videos among other things but mostly adult colouring videos and these pictures that I coloured in the month of February there are 18 there's chocolate on there 18 pictures in all and uh, again, I've split it into uh, actual pictures, patterns, then colour by numbers, and then 10 books that I'm hoping to finish this year, which is not going to happen, but we can try. So the first book, as you can see, is Lulu Mayo's A Million Sloths, Super Cute Creatures to Colour. I coloured this page. This is just all done with gel pens, and this was a buddy colour with the lovely Molly Newland. And I used my Link Shines and... Excuse me, Weezing my Pentel Dual Hybrids. This one was so quick, it was so easy to do, and it was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed it. The next one was another buddy colour, and it's from Carla Magana's Space Stardust Spaceless, and this was done with Chelsea from Chelsea's Creative Creations. I've got to get it right because I can never remember it. And this was done with various markers and gel pens and the acrylic pens, the the Artix Metallic acrylic pens, among others. Um, I really enjoyed doing it. I do like this book. and It's like, it's like her hair is all electric, as Chelsea says. Yeah, this was fun. Like I said, done with Chelsea. I love doing buddy colours with Chelsea. It's so much fun. We always pick good pictures and have a laugh and uh, enjoy each other's work. So, yeah, it's that one. I did one in Chompy Fluff Monsters by Morgan O'Brien. This book is just so cute. And I just did this little dinosaur here. So quick, so cute. I bought a copy of this for me and a copy for Jennifer. Jennifer's actually covered a couple, coloured a couple now. She loves it. As you can see, I made these sort of volcanoes erupting. So a bit different. And it was literally just done with a few markers over the course of about half an hour, 40 minutes. It was very, very quick to do. And I really enjoyed it. And that is uh, that one. I have done one finally in Jade Summer's Flower Boutique's Flowers. Bouquets. Flowers aren't my favourite, I will admit. And I just did this with the Black Widow pencils. Just something to do in my spare time. I was a bit tired. And so I just did these daylilies. <coughs> um, like I said, I'm not a big flower person. But there's some nice pictures in here. That's why I've got it. But yeah didn't take me very long. I'm trying to work my way through my uncoloured Jade Summer books one book a month and even if I do that I won't have um, completed a page in each one by the end of the year because there's that many of them and they haven't started putting them out yet. I'm hoping they'll be putting out new books again soon. I really hope so. I miss adding to my Jade Summer book collection. I did one in um, 300 mandalas by Sally Berry. I did forget to put a ticket in it. Let me just find it. Was it that one? Yeah. And it was this one. And this was done using... Oh, what did I use? What pens did I use for this? I want to say it was the Bic ones that I got for, that me and Jennifer both had a pack of. It was those. They just sit next to my bed and if I feel like colouring with them, I colour with them. Sometimes in bed. Yeah, so that's that one. So a lot of patterns. Um, I didn't do much as much colouring as I normally do because we've had the builders in doing the kitchen and the bathroom. It's just been a bit of a nightmare, really. I haven't spent as much time here as normal. We've been at my mum and dad staying over there overnight. And while I took colouring with them, I didn't do very much of it. I did finally get another one done in Intricate Mandala's colouring book. This was done, as you can see, with some very bright pens. This is the... Scribblicious um, 60 pack of gel pens from the works and, and it's obviously using the neons and I thought it looks really nice. I like this book and I don't colour in it enough. I like all my books. I really don't colour in any of them enough I'm going to say and I've still got too many I've never touched. I'm very naughty. It's why I'm cutting down on, on, on the buy-in. There's going to be no haul this month. Potentially there will be next month. I don't know. Depends. I'm not planning on buying much. I've got one pre-order coming in soon. It's preparing to dispatch. I had one yesterday that was a pre-order. 
I've got no other colouring books pre-ordered. The other only other colouring book I'm expecting to get this month is my colour in heaven. Um, but yes, yeah, so I like that one. Now I got this book last month, oh not last month, the month before in January, Seattle Patterns, you saw it in my haul and I finally did the first one in there because I do do these colour by numbers in order just because I'm kind of sad like that and that was done with some alcohol markers I think, yep yeah, alcohol markers and just four or five colours, it's just really nice, it's really simple to do, nice and easy, still got a bit of paper in it behind because that must mean I've used a Arteza in it because of the orange, red, red in and red going yellow, but yeah I like this book, I'm gonna, I can't wait to do another one in there. Then I've got 50 Celestial Mandalas Colour by Number by Sachin Sachdeva and I did this one, that, this one was sitting around for a while because this is, I just, there ain't going on, I couldn't be bothered to colour and I couldn't be bothered to read. I just literally was so exhausted the, the month, I just spent most of the month sleeping. It's not good, but hopefully now we're into March, building work's done, kitchen is beautiful, bathroom is beautiful. We're back to colouring properly now. I do like this book. Such and such David St. Patrick St. Patrick's Day colour by number. This one is so simple. I love this book. It's so easy to do because it is like a kid's book, but I mean and I just did this one and it's just nice these ones. I like these ones. This one I think was done. This one was done with the Amazon pens, I think. They do tend to go through if you're not careful. Um but yeah, I like that one. I like this book. I'm going to do another one in it in, in March. Obviously, because St. Patrick stays in March. I might do a couple in there. Right, we are now on to the ones I did as part of my 10 books to finish challenge. I only did, hang on, I've written it down. Was it eight or nine of them? Nine, I want to say. Uh, January, February. Uh, yeah, I did nine. Um, so not enough, I need to do 18 a month, but I know I'm going to complete at least three books, so I'm happy if I only complete those three books. So I own 50 easy patterns, oh no I did two in this one, I did this one, and this is using some new markers I've got, I haven't hauled them yet, both of these are using those, and they are called, um, they're by United Office and they were from Lidl's, they were at £4.99 a pack, I got two packs of them, and they're just really nice pens. Really nice. Oh no, this one's got some glitter on it. This one's got some glitter on it as well. So, yeah. Then, oh, I need to put that one separate because I need to keep that out. We have 50 Easy Mandalas. Again, another Jade Summer book. I did three in this one. I did this one. This was using the green set of metallics from Deco Time, and to be fair, they don't last very well. I won't be buying them again. As much as the colours are nice, they hardly last any time at all. And again, with this, you can see it's quite bitty, it's just because they just keep stop working. Um, maybe I just got a set of, you know, we, but it's in every pack, there's at least one that doesn't work at all, and a few that aren't, that they don't last very long. And then this one, again, this was done with, I was did start doing it with the Deco Time, but I stopped. And I think I just did it with some random alcohol markers from downstairs. I, I'm going to say it was, yeah, these were Shuttle Arts, um, Deco Time markers. Um, that's probably the two that I used, so, yeah. I did one in Kawaii Colour by Number. I do like this book. Uh, of Colour Castopia and I did this one again this was done using the Amazon marker pens brush markers I really like them for these books uh, they do go through if you're not careful so I do tend to, to try and put a paper, piece of paper behind when I remember which isn't often I do like the book but I get fed up of having to outline everything I guess I get bored with it but so yeah but I still like it so on to the three I might actually finish well, two of them I definitely will, and the third one I might one. And the first one is the one from Chelsea's Pretty Creations that we did in our colouring chat. And we did this little witch. And I love her. Unfortunately, other than the black background, I forgot to put the paper behind it because I was doing something else afterwards. After I did the background, and of course it's gone through on the next page. But do you know what? I should just wear a funky colour and a background and it'll be fine. I'll work it out. 
and cover it up somehow. But other than the fact that you do get some duplicates, which I'm not worried about, there's not many pictures in here at all. So I know if I do one a month, I'll, I'll finish it. Um, and I said the duplicates because Jennifer likes them. Jennifer can have the duplicates, which goes for pretty much most of my books with two of each. Did one from Witch Fantasy to keep that one going. This is one I will definitely finish as long as I do a page every month. And we did this one. Again, this was done with various markers. In fact, I think actually this was done with the Amazon pens looking at it. Yeah, that was done with the Amazon pens because they, they're just downstairs on the coffee table. Um, I've got a lot of alcohol markers down there. It's a right mess. I've got to clear it up, but they're down there and it's just easy to use. So I did that one. And I'm really happy with it. I like it. And finally, I did one in stained glass Egyptian designs. This is my favourite book of the ones, 10 I'm going to finish. And I've only got about four to go. I'm going to finish it around June. Um, just because I love anything to do with ancient Egypt. And so this is one of my favourite books. And I did this one. And again, this was one was also done with the um, Amazon pens. I might go back to using the alcohol markers on this one next month for this one but oh, I I love this book I can't wait when I finish it I'll do a full flip through of all the pages so you can see what they're like but yes it looks like there's loads of pages left but there's really only like four I think one two three four five four there you go and then it's just the back bits where you lay list all the colour sheets and what other books they've got so I've only got four left to do in that one so I mean, it's definitely going to get finished this year it's, I can't believe I'm actually going to finish a book um, potentially three or four so those are all the pictures I did in the month of February not that many but I'm happy with what I did I really love the one in Chompy Fluff Monsters because just because it's such a cute book and I can't wait to colour it in it again. And I love the one I did with Chelsea and the one I did with Molly. So those are my three favourites of the month. I can't decide between them because they were all so lovely. I hope you've enjoyed <coughs> this video. And I will see you again in another video very, very soon. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.